welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Should be a good one here this afternoon between the Rochester Red Wings and the Louisville Bats. It's baseball. It's the show, Ladies and it comes and your way next. Your Louisville Bats. Victor Robles digging in now, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Ani subtracts there beautifully as this pitch is swung on and missed for the game's first out. Next, it'll be Jeremy De La Rosa. De La Rosa. Hit hard on the ground to second. He's got it. And there are two away now. Next to hit is Rhett Wiseman. Rhett Wiseman. Turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Bat explodes as this has popped up, and he'll avoid the fragments out there to make the catch that ends the inning. Stepping up is Nick Senzel. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an that or the strikeout, no and there's here. one gone. Jesse. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And two now one. a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2 and 1. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Two and balls. it's two balls two and strikes. two strikes now. Curveball, and he buckled him, but it's full three and two. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit, froze him. But now here's a fly ball, well hit. Robles is back on it. On the warning track, he makes the catch. So next to bat will be Logan Morrison looking to get on base okay. and keep this first inning alive. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. Scooped up, throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Drew Mendoza. swing here but this is in there for a cold strike two in tight with the slider two and two the classic back foot slider right there with two strikes usually gets a ton of swing and misses nice layoff right there fight for another pitch Hines has a play looks it into his glove and there's one gone now with the plate That's is it. Mike Ford the first baseman Mike. Cool. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Winker will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. So next to hit is Jackson Flores. Jackson Flores. Now the one and one pitch. The count, two one. towards center field and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit batting seven the shortstop 
Samuel. In now, Infante. Samuel Infante. Hey. Fastball called strike, one and two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Last half of the second set to go, and next it'll be the outfielder, T.J. Friedel. Now the one and one pitch. Hit back toward the mound, field it cleanly. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. Batting fifth, the second baseman, number 28. To the plate now, number 28. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for route number one. Next Batting to hit, fifth. Jose Garcia. Not shortstop. Friedel, oh, runner at first with one gone in good. the inning. They, uh... And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. Batting seven. Striding in is Reese Hines. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. He's got it. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. So now to the plate, number 38, and he's ready to take his first cuts. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And the good fastball there finds Bazone as the count three goes full now. Three and two. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. Here's a fly ball well hit. A ball that's carrying. Around first, he's digging for second. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Blake now, Steven Strasburg, nope, and he lays Thanks, off here. It's ball four, and that is really cause for concern as he's just the walked the opposing the pitcher. Victor. The three and one pitch. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Now batter, the left fielder, Jeremy. Into the box, De Jeremy De La Rosa. One and two now. One and two. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. Grounded to the right. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to two to nothing now. Next to stand in is now Rhett left. Wiseman. He right popped field. out in his first trip. Now the one and one pitch. Skied into very shallow right. Friedel has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he'll make it into score. It's a sack fly and an RBI, and it's now a 3 nothing ball game. So no one on now after the sack fly. And set to go is the third baseman, Drew Mendoza. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a cold strike, two. One ball, two strikes. To hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of... Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. So here is Bo Taylor as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. 
Hey, Maddie, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Into right field, that's a base hit. Batting done. No pitcher. Hector. At the plate, Hector oh, Perez. Taylor on at first, nobody out. Squaring to bunt, but this is a foul ball. So it's back now to the top of the order now, fielder. and that'll bring up yeah. Nick Senzel. Senzel. Still two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. He'll try it again, three and two. No, There's the ball. ball four. So the next to bat will be Jesse no, Winker. Who flew no, out no, and no, is no, only no. at bat so far. Jesse. Runners are at first Winker. and second with one away. Working for the punch out and the offering. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Next to dig in, Logan Morrison. He bounced out last time up. Logan Morrison. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. center field for a base hit long throw to the plate and not in time as the run scores now that right fielder he's dead. into the box now T.J. Friedel and he misses with it for ball four so the bases will be loaded now with two away next up is number 28 one of the bigger spots in the ball game so far base is juiced now with two away late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side good battle here this will be the seventh pitch coming up and he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away Pitch number 33 in the inning will be the lucky one as this is swung on and missed to retire the side. All set for the start of the fourth. And here comes the first baseman, Mike Ford. And it's fouled away. Set to deal on two and two. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. Good battle. Count remains full. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. The batter number 22. Ready Second now is Jackson Flores. Jackson. He collected a base Flores. hit his first time up. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And he will make the play out there. And there are two away now. And now Samuel Infante. Samuel Infante. 
A ball and two strikes. One and two. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. The batter, number 38. Standing in now, number 38. No, that can't. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around no, this guy going. a little bit. And there he goes towards two. second. He is not right, close as he's two. in there with a stolen base. Here now the 2 2. Drilled right back up the middle, and that's through into center field. Base hit. And tack on one more, make it a four to one lead. So now to the plate, Steven Strasburg. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Oh, the old classic two strike, let's throw the fastball right down the middle. Not in this game. Got to believe you got to work the corners a little bit more. Fastball command is paramount at this level. 2-2. Uh, two, two. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be That's off to the races on this pitch. And he misses here, ball four. And somehow he manages to walk his opposite number. Wow. And this is foul tipped at the plate right off the arm of the catcher behind the plate. Ouch. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Jose Garcia. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Breaking ball misses the corner. Two balls and two strikes. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. And this is swung on and missed, and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout. And there's one away. Three. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. One and two. The count is one and two. And he struck him out. Now to bat, Bo Taylor trying to Nevada. avoid becoming Number the third three, strikeout three. victim of the inning here. The 1-1 one, one home is laid off oh, for ball, off two. ball two. Interesting sequence of pitches right there. A real ugly swing on a ball away, and it looks like the batter has a much better Outside. idea of what he's looking for after that second pitch. The 3 1. And a changeup nope. couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Mike Freeman will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Mike Freeman. Now the payoff pitch home. Big swing, and this one's launched to right field and deep. Weisman has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. R.J. Alaniz, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. And now in the box, Jeremy De La Rosa grounded out in his last at bat. Fouled off. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. On oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The right fielder. Next, it'll be Rhett Wiseman. Notched an RBI on the sack fly in his previous turn at the plate. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. 
Now the pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Senzel backing up on it. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Drew Mendoza. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's 2 and 1. He pulls this one into right. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a 1 for 3 game so far. Now batting the first base. Mike to the plate now. Mike Ford. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the line. The relay. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. The batter number 22. Second base. Jackson. Into the box. Jackson Flores. Good late break to the slider. 87 on the gun there. It's one and two. Struck him out, so they work out of the jam as he strands two men in scoring position. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Nick Senzel. This is taken for a cold strike, and he's not in love with that call either. It's one and two now. Ball two. two. I got to count two and two. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ball game. Next, here is Jesse Winker. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Reined in. And the flip to a hustling Strasburg covering at the bag for the out. At the plate now is Logan Morrison. A hit in two tries for him so far. Here comes the one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And stepping up as the shortstop, Samuel Infante. Nope. And there's ball. ball two now. Ball Slider three. laid off for a ball. Call it didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're oh. still the one in the driver's seat. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Number 38. Now it'll be number 38. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. And this is swung out and missed. So it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Steven Strasburg. It was a walk in his last trip. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move traffic right here. He's taking two big swings. He's trying to help himself. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Leading off the inning, it'll be T.J. Friedel, and they could use a spark from him here. The 2-2. Two -two. Three two. On the ground to third. 
And there's one away. So now into the box is number 28. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Squared that one up just a little late. And two and two. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Wiseman is there, two down. Into the box, Jose Garcia. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this AB. Sixth inning, four to one is our score. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Victor Robles. Now the 2-1 pitch. Lifted down the line in left. Winker is underneath this one. One down. Now in the box, Jeremy De La Rosa. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. A 1-1. High and deep to right center. Senzel backing up on it. At the track, the wall. And it's gone as they add still another. In now, Rhett Wiseman. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now. Three and one. And the good fastball there Hell finds four. the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Lifted the other way to left center. Left fielder is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. So here's the cleanup hit. Drew Mendoza last time through was a base hit. Mendoza. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. To two balls and two strikes now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Full count, three and two. On a good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he set down on strikes for the second time today. Patrick Murphy gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 52. Stepping in once again is Reese Hines. No hits to this point. Here now the 2-2. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. Wiseman moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for route number one. Next up, Bo Taylor. It was a walk in his last trip. Seventh inning here in a 5-1 to one ball game. Called strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's 1-2 and two now. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Rounded down the third baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Three ball, two strikes. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 
looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Drilled on the ground is short. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. Delino DeShields will be summoned off the bench here. So pinch hit with the runner at first and one gone in the inning. Delino Ready with the one and one. And that misses two and one. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. This one's down to third. To second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Mark Warren has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 77. Digging in will be Mike Ford. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Now the three and two pitch. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. The batter number now to the plate, Jackson Flores. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Ball taken there, two and one now. From the belt, kicks and deals down the third baseline. There's one. And to Morrison at first, but it's not in time, and they'll have to settle for one. Stepping in next, Samuel Infante. He grounded out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. That front door slider is a devastating pitch. By the time you realize it's in the zone, it's too late. And you can't even put a good swing on it. Flores stands at first with one out. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now that Digging in next, number 38. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Is laid off, and the count runs full. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Morrison will make the catch, and that ends the inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Nick Senzel. He went down on strikes last time up. Yeah, but it was a good changeup, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. And he is in the second base with a leadoff double. Go up here. Number 33. Into the box now, Jesse Winker. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Five one our score as we play the eighth. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two. So a full count now. Logan Morrison is on deck. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move. He's there and records the first down. And now here is Logan number Morrison, baseman, who six. sat down on strikes okay. in his last at bat. Morrison. Here comes the one two. This is on the ground over to first. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. On the recovery throw is in time to get the out at first. What a heads up play. A right fielder. Number and stepping 16. in, TJ Friedel, runner in scoring position with Sujan. The three one. And the sinker runs too low here as he loses him. It's ball four. Will Harris trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. So now here is number 28. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Will Harris. Now playing shortstop. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. Runners on first and third, two away. 
weak grounder down the first baseline. And the two out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. Now to the plate here is number nine. He'll get his first shot with the bat here. The one one home. Two ball, one strike. Really the high curveball right there. Struggling with the release point. That's the key to the curveball. Figuring out and finding that release point. Clearly off with his timing Two on strike. that one. A swinging strike. Good hard slider is this one swung on and missed for the first out here in the ninth. The batter. The so field. the lineup flips over Victor. and digging in. Victor Robles flew out last time up. Now a swing and a miss and one he's ball, behind strikes, one and yeah. two. It's funny. That pitch, I can picture being in the box. That pitch looks so good to hit. And why does no one ever get to it? A good executed high fastball usually blows nine out of ten guys away. The 2 2. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So stepping in is Jeremy De La Rosa. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up. Here's a fly ball, well hit. Legs churning, he's headed for second, but that'll be off the wall in right center. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. The white field, number four. Red. One. Standing in now, Rhett Wiseman. Nope. And a curveball here. Good pitch, but a better take, and it's to two and one now. Aye. In there, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Back up. The, oh, no, that got him. Great support from his infield, though, as that's the third out. Weird way to end the inning. Now at the plate, here is Jose Garcia. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The set and the 1-1 pitch. Two ball, one strike. That's ball three. Reese Hines is on deck. One strike. The three one is okay. swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Hey, I know he's aware he can't tie the game with one swing of the bat, but maybe he's just trying to excite the boys and get one on the board. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Payoff pitch one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Third now with the plate, Reese Hines. He flew Three. out in his last A.B. The 1-2 is swung on and missed strike three. Up next, Bo Taylor. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. And he fouls this one off. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Again, he sends it out of play. Another 1-2 delivery. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. 5-1, the final total in today's game.
Rochester led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Steven Strasburg is credited with the win. Hector Perez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. Our final line score, first for the victorious Red Wings, five runs.